Okay, I wasn't planning on doing seasoning for a while because we've been doing a lot of seasoning battles uh, with Cuisinart, with Blackstone. This one, I was in Vegas at the Butcher Block. My friend who, uh, he carries on my, my sauces there and everything and uh, we've been friends a long time. Anyway, he had this se these seasoning things and I'm looking at them and I said, Rub with Love, that's the name of it, Rub with Love. I'm like, okay, so he had a steak rub, and he I'll show them all to you, but I looked at him and I said, are these really good? And he says, they sell like hotcakes. He sells out of them all the time. I'm like, okay, I guess the challenge has to be met. So I bought one of each, and I brought them here, and we're gonna throw some on some chicken or some beef or uh, whatever we got in the fridge, and we're gonna try out these seasonings see which one's the best, see if it's really as good as everybody's raving about. Um, but when you hear the excitement in his voice, it was like, wow. He's like, I can't keep it in stock. I'm like, okay, give me one of each. So coming in close, I'll show you the different ones we have. So this one's gonna be a little bit awkward because this one's a pork rub and I don't have any pork here right now. So we're throwing on some chicken just to get the flavor and see if we like the seasoning, all right? This one is a chicken rub, so we're gonna stick that on chicken. They recommend rotisserie chicken. This is more like for baby back ribs, okay? And I should have bought some baby back ribs. I didn't even think about that. But, or the country ribs, those are good too. So then this one kind of blows me away. It's called Perry, African Perry Perry Spice Rub. And uh, I'm not sure what to put that on, but it looks like it wants to be on chicken too. Right here it says Perry Perry Roast Chicken. And then you have the 12 spice, uh, Chinese 12 spice rub. I don't know how, well, I know how many are in here, 12, but I don't know what that tastes like. I've heard of this, but I've never had the 12 spices. And then good old steak rub, okay? Pork, chicken, 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 steak. Okay, guys, so let's take the pork rub, which I'm going to try. If this is good, I'm going to try this on baby backs. I'm going to go grab myself a a whole rack of ribs but there's the pork rub we're just gonna take a pinch see how it looks all right just take a little pinch put it all over this piece here is the chicken rub let's give that a try now I'll show you what it looks like okay what it looks just like the pork rub that looks exactly like the pork rub that's so trippy all right well we'll try it out I'll let you know Here's the African Peri Peri Spice Rub. All right, this one looks a little bit different. It's got a little more of green speckles in it. Oh, that's not very fresh. I mean, it's kind of clumpy. I wonder if there's like a brown sugar in there or something. This is the, it's a little bit harder. By the way, this African Peri Peri Spice Rub smells amazing. Let's get this open. Take a look at that. Looks a little bit different. It's supposed to have 12 spices in there. Well, I'm sure there's cloves in there or something. We're gonna put a lot on this. From what I heard, you can get these through the internet. If not, call the Butcher Block in Las Vegas, or if you live in Vegas, go there and get it from them, but I'm almost positive. Okay, yeah, see, there's your your steak rub, okay? So we're gonna take the steak rub, it's not too clumpy, and season our steak. All right, let's get these out. I didn't realize how small the pieces were that I cut, so they cooked pretty fast. Let's leave those to cool. You always want your meat, chicken, steak, pork, anything. Always rest your meat. Give it, the smaller it is, the less time. This will be like five, 10 minutes. This will be like 15 minutes. Just let it rest, let it juicify. It cools down. You know, you don't want that steam rising off like it is. If I were to slice that, that meat would dry out. I'm really interested in this steak one. That steak rub smells really good. I could, I know which one smells like which. 
I like that steak rub. All right, so let's give it a try. So um, we're going to start with the, whoops, this one is the pork rub like you'd use on baby back ribs. But I'm sampling it on chicken because I can get a better taste of it than with some greasy, crispy, wonderful ribs. Oh, could you imagine? Okay, so this is good. I'm doing another video. I'm going to show you my rib rack. We're going to talk about some things that were sent to me by another company. So let's give this a try. I'm definitely putting that on ribs. That is really good. I'm impressed. Let's give this one a try. This is the, the chicken rub, the regular chicken rub, okay? Once again, the company's called Rub With Love. I hear you can order them through the internet. But uh, I picked these up at the Butcher Block in Vegas. That is so good. That would be great on rotisserie chicken. Let's try the African Peri Peri Spice Rub now. Uh, the African Peri Peri Spice Rub. Spot on. So far, they're all equally good. Amazingly good. I'm totally going to be using these. All right. Chinese 12 spice rub. This one's going to be interesting. This is one I thought had sugar in it. I'm impressed with this company. I never heard of them before. My buddy told me about them. So let's give the steak rub a try. Well, I know what I'm eating for lunch right here, but my favorite is the steak rub. Go figure. So the steak rub is awesome. I uh, The biggest Im impressive flavor is the pork rub. So I'm going to try those on some ribs real soon, okay? But it's called Rub With Love. You got the pork rub, chicken, Mar uh, African peri-peri, Chinese 12 spice. They're all home runs. That's a rarity, guys. Normally, you don't get a whole line that's that good, okay? Some you like, some you don't like. I love all those flavors, and they're all distinct. They may look alike. They all are distinct flavors, all right? Check it out. Rub with love. Let them know you saw it on the show. They didn't even know I'm reviewing this. They didn't send it to me. I picked it up. I paid for it myself. So rub with love. Show them some love, and you guys enjoy seasoning and grilling all year long, okay? You guys take care. I love you, and I'll see you on the next episode. Bye-bye.